What's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the new Quintex Q9S Pro Android TV box. Now this box is running the S905X2 quad-core CPU with 4 gigs of DDR4 RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. You also have dual-band Wi-Fi AC with 100 megabyte LAN, Bluetooth version 4, Android version 8.1 Oreo, and this supports 4K HDR at 60 frames per second, along with HDMI version 2.1 and 5.1 surround sound. And this is what the bottom of the unit looks like. Now inside the box, you will also find a user manual, a remote control, HDMI cable, and power adapter. And the voltage is 5 watts, 2.5A. And closer look at the remote control. So this is a standard remote control. There is no air mouse or microphone built in, but you can control your television with this remote control and it's powered by two AAA batteries. Now this TV box is fairly compact in size, but to give you an idea, I will bring in the Xiaomi box. So this is how they fare side by side. You can see straight away that the Xiaomi box is a lot smaller. And in thickness, the Quintex is a millimeter or two thicker. So now I'm gonna get this hooked up to my TV and capture card, and we are gonna find out exactly how good this TV box really is. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this TV box took 24 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. So here is the home screen for this TV box. We have a whole load of large icons which cannot be edited, they are fixed icons, and a row of small icons at the bottom which are customizable, so you just hit the plus sign and you can select as many favorite apps as you like and they will immediately appear. Now let's go over to the main settings and check out the system storage info. So this box has 32 gigs of internal storage from which you have 26 gigs free to use. And if we have a quick look at about, you will see that this is running Android version 8.1.0 Oreo. Now it's time to look at the default system apps. So here are all the apps installed on this box as standard. I have not installed anything yet and you have quite a few to get you started, including Netflix, YouTube, you've got the Google Play Store along with KDMC, which is like Kodi Media Player. Now there does not appear to be any working option for Miracast or AirPlay, so this box does not support screen mirroring. So now I'm going to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and I will be doing this with the included KDMC media player. So let's go ahead and play the first video. So the first videos to test are the high bitrate 4K jellyfish demos and you can see it's running nice and smooth for 160 megabytes per second, 180 megabytes per second and 400 megabytes per second. Moving on now to the YouTube test, and you can stream a maximum of 1080p on YouTube. Remains of a human-like creature were first discovered in the Neander Valley, hence the name Neanderthal. Moving on now to the gaming test. For your advanced users, DRM shows Google Widevine level three. So here is a look at the CPU Z information. You can see it's a quad core 1.8 gigahertz and the graphics chip is the Mali G31. And this box does come rooted as standard. And in the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 27 and upload speeds of 19 megabits per second. So that brings us to our benchmark tests, beginning with Geekbench multi-score of 2147. And in the anti 2 benchmark test, we achieved a total score of 57K. So let's see how that compares with the others. 
So here is my top Android TV box chart of 2019, showing you the latest TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. And as you can see, the Quintex Q9S Pro has taken position 16 on this chart with a rating of 8 out of 10. You can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it, guys. That was the new Quintex Q9S Pro. So here are my thoughts on this TV box. The box runs well, you have a decent performance, and you can play 4K at 60 frames per second nice and smooth. YouTube also streams nice and smooth at 1080p, and Netflix and Prime also are working fine on this box at 480p max. Now other plus points, you've got USB 3, Bluetooth, and a fast LAN speed. Gaming is also quite smooth on this box. Now onto the cons, there was no screen mirroring option and no drop down status bar either. Furthermore, I was not able to achieve my top Wi-Fi speeds and still managed to watch Netflix and YouTube videos with no buffering issues. Bottom line, another new TV box sporting the S905X2, which has now become one of my all time favorite CPUs for TV boxes. And this box is currently selling for less than 40 pounds. And for that price, this is a decent streaming box. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.